If you look at the player count for Football Fusion, and then you look at the player count for Football Universe, and then you compare those numbers to the player count of Football Champions, two of those games clearly are succeeding and one of them is failing. Let's try to figure out why. Trying to look at what makes Football Fusion the most popular football game is pretty much pointless. It's nearly identical to the most played football game that came before it, Legendary Football, and then Legendary Football broke. This led f Legendary Football players no choice but to move over to Football Fusion, and is the main reason why Football Fusion is so successful. Besides its familiarity and similarity to Legendary Football, one of the main reasons people stick around is due to its simplicity due to its R6 gameplay. The other very successful football game is Football Universe. While Football Fusion's biggest strength is its gameplay, the biggest strength for Football Universe is just the amount of content that's there. There are countless modes, there's trading, there's training, there's so much you can do in the game, that's what makes it so popular. Before you get into talking about Football Champions, I feel like a very important game to bring up to the discussion of why football games succeed is Football Stars. This game was made by Brilliant and started picking up steam during the first few months of 2018, so about three years ago now. In my opinion, it's basically an earlier version of Football Fusion by a different developer where it's an R15 game where you can unlock cosmetics and it gave you an incentive to play. However, the game kind of fizzled out as there were barely any updates to the game and unlocking all of the cosmetics didn't take too much time. However, the most important thing is that the game d was fairly successful during the beginning of its lifespan and if it continued getting updates, I do believe that it could have been a game still being played more widely today. Football Fusion is very successful due to its gameplay. Football Universe is very successful due to its content. And Football Stars was very successful due to its content, but through lack of updates, the content fell away, therefore resulting in the game slowly dying out. And then that leaves us with Football Champions where it doesn't have the mechanics down as well as Football Fusions, where sometimes Football Champions can feel laggy at times, or just all around just not feel great to play mechanically, where you feel like you should have caught something and you didn't, or you're getting tackled from a mile away, or it takes a whole minute to pick up a ball off the ground when you're quarterback. While it also fails at the content aspect of football games, such as Football Universe, where it tries to lay down the foundation for content, and that might come in a later update, but as it stands right now, it doesn't have the content yet. So therefore, the game's written off as a Football Fusion clone that has nothing extra going for it besides just a laggier worst experience. And both of these problems combine to give us what the true issue with Football Champions is. The less people who play Football Champions means the worse the people who play Football Champions is. So not only when someone picks up the game for the first time, do they have to deal with the bugs and glitches in the unfinished content that happens for being a game that's in beta, but they also have to play with players who don't know what they're doing. So all of that combined leaves negative impressions in players' heads and writes the game off completely, where there's no point to ever playing the game even if it becomes perfectly updated because the players are so bad. So what can we learn about this for football games going in the future? Creating a direct sequel to a game is always going to be successful, as we can see with Football Fusion being the spiritual successor to Legendary Football. Therefore, I have to imagine that Football Universe 2 is going to be absolutely 100% successful and might even pass Football Fusion. Another thing to learn is that releasing football games in beta, it does not help. You get hype around the game for about one week and then it dies out and then your whole entire fan base is just going to melt away and everyone's just going to write the game off forever. Now for the final question, is there any hope for football champions having a turnaround? 
can it be the Rainbow Six Siege or the Sea of Thieves of Roblox sports games? I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear, but probably not. Even if they update the game, even if they fix all of its bugs and glitches, even if they add just as much content as Football Universe, the negative impression that every single person who has played it so far has of the game right now, it's not going away. And without content creators really backing the game, which I don't see happening for a very long time, I don't see football champions having a very good chance at all in the future. However, if the game does want to make a turnaround, how's the best way to do it? In my opinion, the very first thing that needs to happen is shutting down the game until more content is added. Because as the game just sits open in its unfinished state right now, especially with all of its bugs, the more people who find it are just going to have such a negative impression of the game that it's just going to hurt the game in the long term. Secondly, I feel like embracing content creators is also going to be huge for this game. They would really have to find a way to appeal to content creators, whether it's tools to help create videos, free private servers, or something, something that draws content creators to this game over any other game. Because as a YouTuber, I'm going to play the games that the most people play so I get the most views, that's just how it is. This leaves us with a bit of a catch-22, because content creators aren't going to play the game if people aren't playing it, and people aren't going to play the game if the content creators aren't playing it. So the devs definitely have to do something to appeal to content creators in particular, whether it's through tools that help us make videos, or some way to make this game appeal to content creators. I'm not sure what that is. But without our support, the game is just going to fade away, and honestly that just sucks. Before we end off the video, I just want to talk about my personal opinions on the matter. Let me just get out of the way right now. I'm not playing football champions as it is right now. It's just not fun to play. As for whether I wanted to succeed or not, I really hope this game succeeds. Football Fusion and Legendary Football, they're nearly identical from when Legendary Football started over like, what, five, six years ago now? And having an R6 game that even slightly competes with it might push Football Fusion in a good direction. So by all means, I really hope this game succeeds. But as it stands right now and the decisions they're making, I don't see this game or any small Roblox football startup game like it succeeding anytime soon. But in the comments down below, let me know what your thoughts are on how Football Champions is right now, what you think will happen to in the future, and how you think it might succeed. That's it for me. If you liked the video, please subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.